Hey guys, I've just finished cleaning up my oil paints. I don't even know how many tubes there are, but there's a lot. And I've had my paints for all the time I've been painting. Some of those tubes, the colors are probably banned, <laughs> but uh, that's my little treasure. Anyway, I get in and I just clean them up now and again and sort them out and make a kind of a stock take. And it makes it really easy for me when I'm in a flurry of painting to know what I've got really quickly and to mark it off. So I've gone through the process, as boring as it sounds, but for those people that like organizing stuff, yeah, you might like this. <laughs> and I'll put some captions in there as well. So have fun. Okay, look, it's not gonna go this slow, I promise you, I'm just getting warmed up. So we can go really fast now. And what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing every paint tube I can find, all my oil paints that have been around in my studio, and I keep moving them around for 30 years, and some of those tubes are that old. I bought them when I didn't know what colors I needed, and I've still got them, and they're still good. And so here I am sorting them all out into their color grades so I can actually work out what I want to keep out and what I want to put into storage so I can actually get organized. And as you can see, I don't even want to start counting how many paints there are, but they keep really well if you look after them. That's what we're going to show you. So now my next trick is very clever. Haha. <laughs> I get a color chart, even though it is, this one is for Artist Spectrum. It doesn't have to be the brand, just as long as it's got most of the colors. And I line them all up. I grab the colors that I find roughly that are on the chart and I actually look and say, okay, I'm gonna keep one out for myself to paint with and the others I'm gonna put into storage. So I put one in my drawer, which you'll see a little bit later on. Oh, I'm just checking the lemon yellows here because they're different. And then I put the others into a little package and I usually use a little plastic bag to keep them together. So uh, make sure that I then grab my color chart and I write one small on two very small, for example. So when I go to look at that, I know what's in that drawer because that drawer is very, very, very busy. So I do that with all the colors I go through each one and I put the extras in that little tray there and they're going to go into my drawer and on the side where you can't see I'm actually making a little stock for myself to keep out in my using drawer so oh boy so on I go color 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 and by the way when you see my drawer all it is is one from the hardware store I can't remember how much it was but they're very very good so now I'm going into the purples and the I think it's the mauves and the magentas and oh I love doing this because I suddenly discover all these colors that I forgot I had and then I think I'm going to get another color, color chart and I'm just going to play with color again because you can rediscover we get stuck in modes of color so I'm still going I'm writing writing and seeing like okay I want to use this color and I don't want to use this color so there's going to be a little bit more of this to go as I work my way through all of these things and by the way they get very messy and oily and that's why I keep some of the older tubes and you know some of the new ones too in plastic bags because they leak and if you leak into your drawer everything ends up a big sticky mess that you can't separate so that's why I go to all this trouble right so I think what I'm doing now is after I sorted them is I'm still going and I'm going to continue I'm onto the greens right now I'm getting closer I'm going now to the browns and the yellows this is what I'm doing in the drawer I'm stacking this is the bottom the big drawer bottom one I'm stacking everything upright take note how it's standing upright very important so it doesn't leak everywhere So nearly there, nearly there, keep on going. And I just wanna say that when you do this, you actually can really, at just a glance, see what you've got in stock. That's how I do it. And I must follow religiously. If I take anything out of the drawer, I mark off on that, that color chart. I will put, I'll adjust the quantity. Doesn't matter that it gets all messy, just pick up a new chart. What I'm doing there is I'm ticking the other colors that I actually do have. So I'm all done and I'm keeping them elsewhere, which you will see. So just finishing the storage drawer, just packing it nice and tight so everything stands upright. These are my excess colors, right? So they stand upright. And yeah, I do have a lot of paint, but I actually, when you paint for a long time, you tend to accumulate a lot of paint and there are favorite colors. You can see my red gold there. That's very abundant. Now, the next thing I have my chart, I will set that on top of the drawer like that and close the drawer, da-da. So this is what I did. I put all those ones that I'm gonna be using in color-coded drawers. So I've separated the colors 
uh, some of them are warms and cools and down the bottom there it is there's my drawer and when I need to use it I open up that that there yeah that thing <laughs> and I look and I go oh yes I have one of those or I have one of those and I know that it's in that drawer and I've got them in categories in there so it's done all good